Once upon a time in Nazareth, there was a lady called Mary. One day, when Mary was in her garden, a beautiful angel appeared. The angel had a very important message for her. Mary, Mary, you're going to have a baby. The angel told Mary that the baby would be called Jesus and would be the son of God. Mary waited and waited for the time to come for the baby to be born. Many months passed, some soldiers came to the village. <laughs> they knocked on everyone's door. Wake up, wake up. You have, you have to, to go, go to Bethlehem to be counted. counted. Soon they came to Mary's house. They knocked on her door from a safe distance. Mary's husband Joseph opened the door. Wake up, wake up, you have to go to Bethlehem to be counted. Joseph went to tell Mary the news and he went to get their donkey with him. He was at her side, Mary rode on the donkey all the way to Bethlehem. When Mary and Joseph arrived in Bethlehem, that town was full of people. They tried to find somewhere to stay. I forgot my room. No, wear clothes for lockdown. I forgot my room. No, wear clothes for lockdown. They looked everywhere, but all the inns were closed. Finally, they arrived at the last inn and they knocked on the door. Please, please, can you help? 
The innkeeper felt so for, sorry for Mary. He thought for a while and then he had an idea. You can make him my table. The innkeeper was very kind. He took Mary and Joseph to his stable. That night, Jesus was born. Mary wrapped the baby in a cloth and laid the baby in a manger. The innkeeper brought some food and hand sanitizer for Mary and Joseph. Some shepherds were in the fields nearby. It was getting lit and a bit cold, so they snuggled up around the fire. It's two metre distance, of course. I'm freezing. Get that fire going. Another day looking after our bubble of sheep. I'm so bored. Nothing exciting ever happens around here since I locked us down again. It's always the same. Living in our PJ Zoom calls and searching for toilet roll. Shepherds were getting sleepy, but just as they were dozing off, a bright light appeared in the sky. A beautiful angel hovered above them and spoke in a very loud voice. Jesus! The Son of God is born!
The angel told the shepherds that the baby was born in Bethlehem. The shepherds were very excited and they went to find Jesus. They arrived at the stable. Is the baby here? Can we come in? Doesn't he look sweet? We bought some lambs for him. Have you quarantined them? I think they need to be quarantined before they're allowed in. Meanwhile, the three kings had seen a very bright star in the east. They knew that the star was a special sign and that a powerful king had been born. They decided to go to the palace to speak to King Herod. They put on their face masks and began their journey. King Herod, have you heard about the new king? He's born in a stable in Bethlehem. King Herod was troubled by the news of a new king. He thought the new king might take away his throne and his endless supply of hand sanitizer and toilet roll. You may find him and bring him to me so that I may worship him myself. Do not worry, I will wear my face mask. <laughs> Leave at once and find him. Of course we will do that for you, King Herod. The kings decided to follow their star. They ride their camels all the way to Bethlehem, wearing full PPE to protect them from COVID-19. When the kings got to Bethlehem, they saw a star in the sky above a stable. They opened the door and went inside to see the baby Jesus. Praise be for the king. They gave him some wonderful gifts. Gold for the baby. Frankincense for the baby. Myrrh for the baby. The three kings didn't trust King Herod and all agreed it wasn't wise to take Jesus back to him. Everybody looked at the beautiful baby. He looked peaceful and cosy in the manger. The shepherds and the three kings thanked God for everything they had seen. Jesus, the Son of God, was born. Jesus, the Son of God, is 